Hi guys, my name's Young and I'm the Certification Trainer and Engineer here at LEADER. And today we're going to have a look at the Teltonica RUT950. Let's start by having a look at what's in the box. So we've got our quick start guide, we've got the unit itself, we've got a Cat5e 1.5 metre patch lead, we've got our DC power supply, as well as our omnidirectional antennas for both the 4G and for the Wi-Fi AP built-in. It has four Ethernet ports, which can be assigned as LAN or WAN as required. It's got a 2.4 gig Wi-Fi AP built-in, as well as a range of routing, VPN, and hotspot uh, features, which you might find quite useful. It can be powered by both the DC power pins, as well as by 24 volt passive PoE in the LAN one port only. So, to get started, the first thing we're going to need to do is insert a SIM into our unit. To insert the SIM into the RUT950, you'll need to remove this back cover here. Once you've removed all four screws, the rear cover will come off. And inside we've got the board here and you'll see there are two slots for our two SIM cards. Full size SIM, insert like so. Place our back cover on. Then I can attach my antennas. Okay, we've got our two Wi-Fi antennas and our two LTE antennas. There is also a DIN rail kit available for all of the Teltonica range. Okay, pretty basic bracket. Goes on the back of our device like so. Now two screws, there we go. Ready for mounting on a DIN rail if needed. So, now we've got our SIM card in ready to go. Let's power this up and have a look at the web interface. Okay, so by default, our device will be configured as 192.168.1.1. And our default username and password to get in will be admin and admin01 for the password. Okay, it'll make us set a new password. And then it will step us through quick config settings for, you know, the network and the mobile, etc. So we're in Australia, Adelaide. Okay, and we're operating in Australia. I've got a Telstra SIM in the device. Yes, we'll stick with the default range for the moment. We'll leave this as is. I'll just set a password on the Wi-Fi network and make sure I choose the right country. Yeah. We can also link it up to the RMS service that Teltonica has. And there we go. Now we can log in with the new yeah. username and password we created. All right, so when we first jump in, we've got the overview page here. Let's have a look at some of the network status. So we've got details on our mobile connection. We've got nothing plugged into the WAN port at the moment. If we jump into LAN, we'll see we've got our DHCP lease for my surface here. And what's cool as well is you've got a topology view. So you can do a scan of your LAN devices. There we go. Wireless stats, as well as stats on VPN connections. VRP if we've set that up for some redundant routing. Details of who's currently connected to the device via SSH, HTTP or HTTPS. Got all access to our ARP and our routing tables here. So we've got graphs of like the load of our device, we've got traffic graphs. We can also do detailed tracking and breakdowns of all of the mobile data usage. If I turn on the post and get gateway, it's very easy for us to do post and get requests that are documented on Teltonica's site. For instance, this get request here will get me a list of all the SMSs that are currently stored on the device. It's very easy to do sends and get specific messages and you know delete these messages and manage them. We can also set up email to SMS pretty much as you would expect. You'll set up your POP details. The Teltonica will dial in and check that mailbox. Uh, what it's looking for in this instance is a subject that's formatted for a phone number. So it'll start with double O and then it'll be in international format. If the subject matches as a valid number, it will convert the contents of that into an SMS and send it. We can also schedule SMSs. We can set up auto replies to incoming SMSs. We can set up SMS forwarding. So when an SMS comes in, we can send our own HTTP request to another device. We can forward our SMSs to another mobile number and we can forward those SMSs to an email address. 
Let's have a look at some of the SMS utilities. So what's quite cool with the Teltonica is there's a list of commands so that we can do things like reboot our device, turn Wi-Fi on or off, all these sorts of things by sending SMS commands straight to our device. For more information on the SMS commands, check out Teltonica's yeah. website. So that concludes our quick look at the Teltonica RUT950. For more information on this little beast or to organize a trial unit, please get in touch with your leader account manager.